welcome back. As I mentioned earlier, this morning we're looking at how we can choose our life purpose. Now, I have a rather long introduction here, but I'm going to take you through it all. It says that um, choosing our life purpose is an extreme act of courage. It is conscious creation at the highest level, and fitted by the how, the when, and the where details that inhibit the average person. Now, we all wonder about the leading edge people who write the books we read, make the movies we watch, compose the music we listen to, invent the industries we work in, and then teach the self-development and financial growth strategies we are looking for. Now, these people seem larger than life and act as kings and queens of their own countries. Their self-esteem is enormous and they attract world-class relationships and opportunities. Many give back on a grand scale. Now, these magical people may be business leaders, spiritual gurus, entertainers, physicians, or athletes. They inspire in us and enrich our lives. But how do they do it? And even more importantly, how can we become more like them? That's what most of us keep wondering when we watch these other people and we look up to these people. Now, the richest, most powerful, and happiest people of every generation are those who have chosen their own life purpose and lived it to the fullest. They may have made mistakes and lost everything more than once, but in the small and large measure, they kept coming back, getting better and better every time. So what does that mean? Do you have to choose your own life purpose to be successful? And what do you have to do in order to be successful? Now this morning to help us look at how we can choose our life's purpose, I have been joined by Reverend Kwame Nabello from the Shama Temple. I hope I got that right. Yeah. And he's also a youth and worship minister. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're doing well today. About God's grace. That's great. Um, you're, you're, you're a youth and worship minister, so you sing. Um, yes, I do. And you sing something for us before you leave the studio okay, this morning. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> okay. And then also Bernard <laughs> Kelvin Clive. Bernard is an author and a motivational speaker. Good morning, Bernard. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing as well? Good morning. Good morning. You're both welcome. Thank you. Anyway, it's good to have the two of you in our studios this morning. Great. Now, I said we are looking at um, how we can choose our life's purpose. Mm. How, how do you go? <coughs> in the first place, what is life purpose? What is purpose? I think when you look at the English word purpose, um, you are looking at the reason for the existence of a thing. Okay. Um, there's a reason why I have a microphone on so that when I speak, someone can hear me better. Okay. So the reason why something exists, you know, primarily or basically, um, that is the purpose of a thing. So for human beings, why are we here? Why do we, you know, have our shape? How do we, why is it that we, you know, can speak among all other living things? So there's a purpose to our existence, and that is meant for our discovery and our pursuit. So then our life's purpose has to do with why we are here? Exactly that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why then has life got a purpose? <laughs> why are we here? That's a big question Yeah. Mm -hmm. in a small context because everything created serves a purpose mm -hmm. or solves a problem. Mm -hmm. So that is its purpose. Uh, the example you give the microphone, uh, to take example, my spectacles, let me see clearer images. Your dad had to ask you blur images, so it's serving a purpose. So every human being has a purpose to serve, mm -hmm. and that's why we are here. So, so we are no all here to serve a particular purpose. Particular purpose. So no one is an accident, or so just just bumping here. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're, I, I like that we are not accidents. No, no. We have a way. purpose for the, that reason we are here. Yeah. So then, is our life's purpose ordained? Is it because we know we are coming from somewhere? Mm -hmm. We know somebody created us. We know we have mm -hmm. a creator. Yeah. I mean, we are Christians, right? We both are. Yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah, let's clear that one first. <laughs> so we know we, are, we have a creator. We know that somebody created us here. Uh -huh. So is that life's purpose that we each have, the reason why we are here, is it ordained or it's by choice? It's how I choose to live it. I'm sorry with you, Reverend. Okay, let me speak from a purely evangelical Christian um, point of view. Okay. Um, I believe that uh, purposes are ordained, one, mm -hmm. and two, you choose it. So it's both? It's both. In other words, God already has the purpose for us, and it is meant for our discovery. So when you discover that this is the reason for my existence, then you can choose it and pursue it. You know, I was talking to a friend, and I was making an example of that if you want to hit a nail through a wood, you can use a kitchen knife to do it. You'll be successful with that. But that is not what the purpose of a kitchen knife. Was you meant know, for. 
it's not what it's meant for. You know, you have to use it to, you know, cut your onions and things like that. But you can succeed to drive a nail through a box or mm -hmm. a wood. Mm -hmm. You know, so you need to know exactly. You know, a lot of people go through life, they know what exactly their passions are for, but they do not pursue it, they do not choose, choose it. They do other things, they are successful in there, but that is not God's purpose for them. The scripture says that David, you know, served God's purpose. In other words, he pursued God's purpose to a definite conclusion, and after that he slept with his fathers. That is the King James's way of saying that he died. You know, so before he exited this realm, this earthly realm, he has served the purpose for which God chose him. Mm -hmm. You know, so for every one of us, there is a particular or a specific purpose which has been ordained for us, for our discovery. And when we find it, we need to pursue it until, you know, we expire. Um, um, okay, I'll come back to what you're saying. Concerning okay. the ordained purpose and then mm -hmm. our choices. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you to, um, Kelvin, Okay. Is it ordained, uh, purposes ordained, or it's solely by choice? Or are you also saying it's both? Um, it's both in, in a way. It's both. It's They're both saying it's both. Yes, yeah, it's, it's both because if we know that there's a creator and he creates things, it means everything that he creates will serve a purpose. Mm -hmm. So that if I know that someone created me, there's a God somewhere, he brought me onto this earth. It means I was here for to serve a purpose, to solve a problem. So that is right. The, the, the problem here is that most people pick things from external sources to live their dream of people. So they find themselves by making choices not in line with their God-given purpose or dreams. That's where we find the problem. Okay. Okay. So that you know that it, it's ordained, you have a, a, a roadmap to follow, but you have a choice to decide to follow or go your own way. And that is mm -hmm. it. All right. Now, Erin Bellu, mm -hmm. how do I get to know this? my ordained purpose in life because earlier on you mentioned that some people go away from what has been ordained for them yeah. okay mm -hmm. they choose their own um, life's purpose yeah. they become successful all right yeah and that wasn't what god act had actually planned for them to follow yeah so then how as a, a an individual how do i go about knowing that this is what god has planned for me because I, I don't think anybody wants to do otherwise I think for the Christian, that's what I'm saying. I'm speaking from a purely evangelical Christian so point of view. So how does a Christian know that this is what God has ordained for me? For every Christian, um, we have the avenue of prayer. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, you go to him. Habakkuk said, I will stand upon my watch, you know, stand upon the tower and watch to see what he shall say to me. So in other words, he stood at a place of prayer to make a discovery of God's original intent for his creation. You know, in the Bible, in Jeremiah, he says to Jeremiah, before you were in your mother's womb, I knew you. And before you transited out of that womb into this um, earth, you know, I ordained you as a prophet to the nations. So Jeremiah's sole purpose for coming onto this planet, planet was to become a prophet, you know, to the nations of the world. So that was his core mission. He, he could do other it. things, but that is the reason why he was born. You know, so every one of us have this purpose, and we need to go to God in prayer to find it. That is one of it. And the other thing, too, that we could use to discover our purpose is to find the things that we are passionate about. What causes you pain? You know, because they are pointers, you know, to your purpose in life. What causes you pain? What causes you pain? Why has pain? I thought it's what makes you happy. That is one, and another side is what causes because some people, um, for instance, I cannot bear to see women suffer. You know, someone was saying to me that why is it that I, you know, my Facebook, I'm always updating things, advising women here and there. And I said, probably because I have two sisters, three sisters in law, and I speak to women a lot, and I see them suffer, you know, uh, in ways that they so shouldn't. feel their pain. So I feel their pain. So okay. I want to help resolve that. So that's become a purpose for you. That, that is a pointer to, you know, what God has ordained for me, you know, the path that he has ordained for me. Okay. You know, that's to motivate people, to inspire people, you know, to challenge people to greatness. You know, so it helps you to discover your particular area of brilliance so that you can function within. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, Bernard, he mentioned that with um, the, or the, the purposes that are ordained, mm -hmm. I mean, as a Christian, you pray to God mm -hmm. so he can let you know what your life's purpose is. Exactly. Then you live it to the fullest. 
how about when it comes to making choices? Because you said we can do both, right? We can exactly, have both. Yeah, yeah. So when it comes to choosing our life's purpose, how difficult is that? How do I choose? It's A or B or C uh, or D. Uh, there might be a lot of purposes. Uh, great. I like the question. You said choosing our purpose. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. if we know there's a purpose for our life, we don't choose it. Mm -hmm. What you do is you find it. Mm -hmm. So how do I find and live by that? You don't mm -hmm. choose it. You don't choose it. You find it. How? Then you, you, you make choices based on career path and what do you want to do in the same arena. But you don't, you don't choose your purpose. No, but then let's, let's, take, um, let's take a little child yeah. growing mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. You go to school, you finish the, um, the, the, the junior level, you go yeah, through the secondary okay. level, you go through the tertiary level. Now, your parents are saying they want you to be a doctor. Probably you are very good in science. Uh -huh. okay? mm -hmm. And then you, you know you want to be um, a musician or an actor or an actress, depending on what you, what, what, what you want to do. Exactly. Your teachers say, oh, you're very good in math. Why don't you do this particular thing? There are so many choices in front of you. There are so many things you can choose from. But yeah, say so you go ahead, you, you look for it, you find it. Yeah. I feel you have to choose. Exactly. Now, this is especially to parents. Parents are not supposed to choose the purpose for their children. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. They are supposed to point, direct them in the area of one, their giftings and their talents. So, mm -hmm. you know, in the growing up stage, we call the affirmative, uh, affirmative stages, where the, the children develop their skill, their talent, and find what they can do. Find your child is, very, is a talkative. That's a point at what he or she can do. Child is very inquisitive. Then uh, we, we don't uh, just, I mean, direct them. We, we direct them, but we don't point and say, this is, you're supposed to be a doctor or a family. You are doctors, you are lawyers. No, you guide them based on one, for what is within them. One, what are you passionate about? What can my child really do within? That's why we give them crayons to play when, you, when mm -hmm. they're kindergarten. Mm -hmm. You find what they can discover. Mm -hmm. You give them uh, numbers to find out their, their skills. Mm. So this thing, let, this, these things let you know, these are areas my child, I can help develop by giving them resources, tools to develop. But you don't choose that. You must become a lawyer. You must become a doctor. You must become a carpenter. No. You find what he or she can do. Guide them. Give them the tools. I, I summarize that in the, in, in the word purpose itself. Now, the, the, the acronym purpose, P is passion. Find out what is your child passionate about. Now, what okay. are you passionate about? That Let is P. That okay. So that, that's a point of your passions. What mm -hmm. excites you? What sets you on edge? That is purpose. The U is understanding. Understand yourself. On earth, your giftings and your talents. Mm -hmm. Do you really understand yourself? One wise man said, a man, know thyself. That's a starting point. Know thyself. Your strength and your weakness, what you call the SWOT analysis. Okay, so that's the second one in the, in the purpose. You is to understand. The R is resources. 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 What are the tools are available to, to, to you to yeah. sharpen your giftings and talents? How can mm. I polish my craft? Mm -hmm. That is resources. In this age, internet is one of the best tools. And you find people, mentors and all that. So that's, those are the resources to help polish your passion. The internet? Yeah, yes, I mean to discover, find information. I mean looking for information. So that's I'm sure you said this will be the Bible. Um, <laughs> I think the Bible is on the internet. So it's, it's, I think it's, the internet is a great resource. You know, for anybody. There are quite a lot of, of bad of things lurking in the internet as well. In <laughs> every environment, there are challenges and there are opportunities. Okay. So you make the choice. Okay, but now let's continue with the P. Okay, the, the P in here means push. Okay, you've discovered your passions, you understand yourself, you've got a resource, and now push. Okay. Put it into practice, act on those things. Okay, let me start by playing the piano, learning my lessons. What can I do? Let me start by talking to my classmates. Let me start by doing this. You are pushing your giftings. Then you are, you, are, you are practicing what you can do. You are discovering yourself the more. Then the next one you go is, oh, that is opportunities. Okay. You identify the opportunities. How can I serve with my opportunities? How can I find? One wise man said that if opportunity doesn't come knocking, then door the wall or door, then the opportunity can come knocking. But if you don't even find it, you go and create your own opportunities. Mm -hmm. So your giftings will make room for you. As scriptures mm -hmm. also says that your gifts will make room for you for great men. So that's all mm -hmm. oh, opportunities. Your, your giftings will always give you opportunities. Then the next is S, satisfaction. Do you love what you do? Are you satisfied? Is there an inner peace within? Mm -hmm. If you don't find that pointer within, it's, you are missing a piece. Mm -mm. Are you satisfied every day? When I see the people working around with passion, that's the purpose, satisfaction. And the last one is E, do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy your life? Because okay. life's supposed to be fun and happy in all that we do. The struggles and challenges. 
enjoy that. And that is your purpose. And that's how you can live that. I see. We have, we'll come back to other evening nights. I have a mm -hmm. problem with Bernard's um, 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 various, how do I put it? His um, various meanings mm -hmm. to the, um, the, the word the purpose, purpose that we yeah. have. Okay. Because like you mentioned earlier on, in life, we have challenges. We yeah, take sure. risks. I mean, we face mm -hmm. challenges. Nothing goes smoothly for anybody. Mm -hmm. whether, whether you're a king or you're a queen, mm -hmm. we have challenges in life. Like you mm -hmm. said, there are opportunities. If opportunities are coming, definitely challenges would come. Yeah, and how yeah. you rise above those challenges actually helps you to build, become a better person, right? Yeah. Now, there are no challenges here. There are no risks involved. It's, I don't think it's that easy when it comes to choosing our life's purpose, whether mm -hmm. ordained or whether there are choices. Because even mm -hmm. the ordained ones, we still face problems sometimes, yeah. obeying God's rules so we can yeah. um, become better people, yes. right? So then, there are challenges in life. How difficult it is for us to find our purposes? Um, it's... It, somewhat difficult but it doesn't take a lot of detective work mm -hmm. you know to find out what you know you have you were meant to be in this you know in this world you know like we earlier pointed out your gifts you know when you are all of us are purpose made purpose built and we are all fitted with survivor kits you know and we are time locked mm -hmm. you know so your giftings you know determines the potential what you can do so they are pointers to what you are meant to do. So if you're able to find out that probably you are a good singer, you know, it means you have, you have the gift to sing. Mm -hmm. it, it comes to you naturally. You don't force it. You know, it, it, it's just natural. And I believe that you can tell um, some musicians that we have in this country that they naturally create things. Mm -hmm. it, it, it comes to them easily. So it's a pointer to where God has placed them in this big earth you know, where they are supposed to function. So we are all purpose built. You know, my shape, the way I talk, um, my likes and dislikes, things that set me on fire, they, they, they are all pointers to what God, you know, has ordained me for. And I have to make the choice because God isn't going to come and push you mm -hmm. that by force I want you to do this. He's given us our will and he wants us, you know, he can lead us, he can prompt us to do of his good pleasure things that pleases him. But it is up to us, finally, to make that choice, to make that decision. So it's not that difficult? It shouldn't be that challenging? It, 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 it is difficult, especially when you've got your own plans. <laughs> you know, because maybe God wants you to go on the path A and probably be exciting, because that is what the world embraces. Mm -hmm. You know, that is what the world emb embraces and that's what everyone is talking about. That's where it seems the money is. You know, so a lot of people are going into oil, into IT and whatever, and at the end of the day, they are so depressed. Maybe your calling is to be a pastor. Maybe, <laughs> maybe to, to be a singer, money. maybe to be a poet. Mm -hmm. You know, but you don't see the There's money, no money you, know, a um, no, you, you know, the coming country. out of that area. And often it is not the money problem, it's just that we have not found we not found out how to monetize um, our giftings and, 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 and our talents. So if you can package it well and market it well for people to accept it, you know, that's where you can make the money from. So often it's not really uh, maybe the call or the gift that you have. You know, some say that there are certain gifts if you have them in Ghana, cannot sell, cannot do well. Now you have the internet, you know, to sell there things are to, to anybody anywhere in the world. So there are ways to go about but it. Bernard, yeah, no. as far as it's concerned, it mm. shouldn't be that challenging, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be that daunting a tax, mm -hmm. especially if it's been ordained and just, you know yeah. yourself. Sometimes, uh -huh. sometimes we know what God wants us to do. Mm -hmm. There's so many times that we know our purpose, okay? We know that this is what, I mean, if I follow this particular path, this is what would happen to me. I'll mm -hmm. be blessed mm -hmm. immensely by God. But then still, like he said, I mean, this is what the world embraces. Mm -hmm. This is where mm -hmm. you feel there's more satisfaction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember I was saying that I had a problem with your meaning uh -huh. here. Yeah, I mean what you're supposed to be passionate about. Uh -huh. You're supposed to push opportunity, uh -huh. satisfaction, okay. and enjoyment. Yeah. And so these are the things that we decide to find for ourselves. Is it that difficult? Is that difficult? One, it becomes difficult when the world keeps on pushing things to you, keep on seeing certain images. That what you decide by yourself is not? It's not that difficult, dude. It, it's, you can find it because the creator didn't hide the things from us, it's, it's within. And we all hear voices, but there's a voice. There's a voice when you hear. There's How? inner peace. 
about the things you want to do. Because we, we don't tune our spirit, we don't follow our guts or what is it, you don't follow your bless. We tend to listen to outside voices or things from external sources to direct our path. But when you look at your giftings, your talents, what you can do, everything is embedded in us. Everything, I believe so, is within us. We just have to just... Don't we learn new things? We learn, but based on what is within. Just like a seed. You can't determine how great a seed will be till it's sown on the ground, dies. So mm -hmm. we, we, we have great things. Mm. Now, when we were growing up, we, 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 when you ask, what do you want to be in future? Doctor, lawyer, and all that. About only four, four careers you can think of. Because those were the things our parents knew or we know of, heard of. But now there are thousands and one over billions of things that you can do. Mm -hmm. But all still boils down based on our passions, our giftings, and our talents. Does our does does environment have anything to do when it comes to choosing our life's purpose? Yes, mm -hmm. it does. Um, like I said, we are fitted with survival kits. Mm -hmm. Every purpose operates in an environment. Every purpose or vision or whatever operates in an environment. And within every environment, there are challenges and there are opportunities. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember in my um, secondary school uh, biology class, uh, genetics and evolution, um, there were some plants were told, you know, in the genotype, maybe these are big words, but yeah. please pardon me. <laughs> well you science. know, the, the, so the genotype is to do with the um, internal traits, internal characteristics of an organism. Okay. And the phenotype is the physical characteristics, what we see. So I could see a flower, this is green, this is purple, or what have you. That is the expression of what is within outside. Mm -hmm. But there are some plants within a certain environment, they are not able to express what is already in the genotype, you know, in the phenotype, because they are, it is planted in an environment which is challenged. So they are not able to express fully what is within it, mm -hmm. what it was created to be. And so it is with a lot of us. There are so many people, because of the environment, their particular circumstances, they are not able to express their giftings. And some of them to some environment will push out what is within them, which they never knew they had. Mm -hmm. You know, for you know, I could beat Usain Bolt. You know, I could run 9.12. Mm -hmm. But how do I know that? I, I'm not even, I don't even believe I can, so I'm not even forcing it. But if in this studio there is fire or, God forbid, uh, there is a lion somewhere <laughs> and I'm supposed to run. Man. You might go very fast. Ha! Maybe I'll do 8.80. So, uh, so, so, so I already us. had that potential within me, but I have not found the right circumstance to push it out of me. So then are there times when our environment inhibits us or there are times when they push us? Okay, uh, yes, it, it does. But the, the thing here is this. Maybe s someone might think that, oh, uh, being born in Ghana was a mistake mm -hmm. or somewhere I wish I was born in US or UK. But the mm -hmm. first thing, that, one, we don't choose our parents. Two, we don't choose where we are born. But we can always choose what to do with our lives. And that's the starting point. To act in your environment, to use mm -hmm. what you already have in your environment. Then that, that causes you to discover more and find out what you can do with other choices that come your way. Then you do that because when you think, okay, environment is, is a great limitation to what I can do. So you are not doing anything. No, sometimes the environment challenges and bring the best in you. Mm -hmm. Then you need to find out. But most, most of the things that stops people are just a mental limitation. Yeah. Your thinking pattern. They feel they're not good enough. They, yeah, you're not good enough. Or I can't do this. Or, or even though I have this gift, I don't think I, I can. Because one of the things is that we tend to compare. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. this person, uh, Oprah is a good talk show. Come on, I can't map up to her. No, God has called you for a purpose. You need mm -hmm. to talk to maybe only kids. Okay, so start from where you are. That's a key thing I always say. Start mm. from where you are, your environment. Then you be exposed to greater things to do. So environment is not so much of a limiting factor. It's our mindset mm. and our lives. Man, I, I'm still using your the yeah. meaning that you gave me. Okay, that's I means, liked it. Yeah. So I think that's how I keep using okay. it. Now you talk about passion, having passion for what we do, mm -hmm. understanding what we're doing, using the resources that are available to us, exactly. and then opportunities and all that, yeah. and then enjoyment, like you said. <sighs> Now, are there limits to that? The things we can do, the things that we want to do, are there any limits? Uh, Should we look out for limits? Same with you, Bernard. Uh, limits, mm -hmm. uh, again, the limit oh, most of the time is mental. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's mental. Most of the time is mental. 
but you, you, you only know how far you can go till you start, mm -hmm. till you move. If you don't, it's all mental barrier. That I think this way, I believe this way, your thoughts are shaping your future, your life. But if you begin to act on those things that you still believe, it's open more doors and opportunities for you. Mm. So limitation is not really thing. Though there's, there's a limit we can go in everything. But until you move, you wouldn't know. You would never know. So that shouldn't stop us in any and way. And how would you know that you've gotten to your limits? How would you know? Yeah. I'll, I'll put it this way. Do you have satisfaction, peace within, at that optimum height of your life? Then you know that that's how far you can come. But even that, how best can you still influence other people or raise other generational leaders to take over you? So that peace, that, uh, that peace is, is very necessary, that satisfaction. Mm. It is the point. Okay. Reverend Bellu. Yeah, I think the limitations. Are there limits to the things that we can reach? Limits. Um, I do not think God places a limit on our potential. I believe he doesn't. The only limitations that we encounter are the ones that we have placed on ourselves by our own thinking. The scriptures say, as a man thinketh, so is he. So it is not God placing limitations on you. Your own thinking is placing limitation mm -hmm. on you. So you agree with what he says? Yes, I agree with what he says, you know, that, you know, we can do more. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to challenge even the frontiers of, the frontiers of what is called impossible. Mm -hmm. So when you find something that everyone is saying is impossible, don't think it. Don't think it is impossible. Challenge those boundaries because you can always push the boundaries, you know, further and further. Uh, you know, no, no, now, now I hear the U.S. Uh, military is developing a plane, you know, which is going over um, supersonic. It's now hypersonic. You know, they keep pushing the boundaries. They keep pushing it. Because until you keep pushing, you never know, you know, the possibilities there are to discover. So keep pushing it, even though you function. And when you are pushing, push within the boundaries of your brilliance. Mm -hmm. If I know that I am a good carpenter, you know, I should keep pushing the boundaries in carpentry, not in music. Mm -hmm. Because that is not the area of my strength. Mm -hmm. You know, that will only bring me frustration, sweat, and nothing. But if I'm functioning within the boundaries of my brilliance, you know, I'm going to get better and better and better. That's what some musicians get, you know, even as they are growing, their star keeps shining. But others, all of a sudden, it goes down because Probably maybe now what field. is on is Azonto, so they want to do Azonto music. Now, but it should be something else. You know, so just keep pushing the boundaries, you know, the limits, whatever is called limit. Challenge it and say that I want to go further. Even though no one has done it, I believe it can be done. So when you believe it in your mind, you know, that her Bible says that blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance. For once you have it fixed, locked up in your mind, you begin to believe that it is possible. And all of a sudden you find the thing that you thought you did not have, you know, coming alive in okay, you. Okay, all right. Yeah. Thank you very much. I mean... I think we've been enlightened this morning on how we mm. can choose our life's purpose. Mm. You've given me that the purpose, P-U-R-P-O-S-E, I'd say for everybody, <laughs> as um, having passion for yes. what we do, understanding, using the resources that are available to mm. us, mm. pushing ourselves, opportunities, right? Yes. Okay. And then also satisfaction and enjoyment. Yes. Mm. And um, I, I'll give you both 30 seconds so we can round up. We are entering a new year. Mm -hmm. People might still not have found their life's purpose anyway. Yeah. Surprisingly, some people so would be searching, would be looking, mm -hmm. would be trying to find it, be making decisions mm -hmm. towards our life's purpose. The final words to Ghanaians in 30 seconds. Well, um, I think what I want to say to everyone is that um, success or anything good doesn't happen by accident. It's a product of conscious creation. So when you discover your life purpose, you need to set goals to achieving it. Because goals are the steps that you use to reach that particular purpose. So people should, you know, make the decision that this is what I want to achieve in this year and resolve, you know, to, you know, to hold on to the de decision in spite of the challenges that come their way. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Bernard. now this is what I have to say, that as we launch into the new year and the coming years ahead, my word for all of us is this. You may or may not make a million dollars in life. A song may not be sung in praise of you. 
monuments may not be erected in your name, but promise me this, that you, to live life fully, to mm. impact souls, to use your giftings and talent to serve humanity, to live, love, and live a legacy in your own way. Enjoy life. Thank you. We'll enjoy it. Mm. Hey, you're supposed to sing for me. Oh, really? Hmm. Not just for me, for our viewers as well. Um, Something short. <laughs> Something short. Okay, uh, because we are still in the festive season, are we? Are yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, maybe Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol. Okay. <laughs> I bet mean, I do the join him. Uh, <laughs> Silent Silent night, holy night, and all is bright, and all is calm round. The virgin mother and child. Holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Thank you very much, Reverend Kwame Navello with the Shama Temple. He's a youth and worship uh, minister. Thank you yeah. for coming. Thank and you. And thank you for the administration. Thank, thank, thank you, you for very, very us. much. Thank you. And Bernard. Um, Kelvin Clive, author and motivational speaker. Thank you also very much for coming. It was a pleasure. Very grateful to have you this morning. Thank you. Um, so let's just remember that we should do the things that makes us happy. We should look for the things that brings us um, 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 satisfaction and joy. And also let's try to get closer to our creator as we enter a new year. There's more coming up. Let's stay tuned. We'll be right back. Limit of your ability. You need to hydrate fast. You need to replace lights you lose in The Zane Sport and Isoton Performance Fuel take you faster, stronger for longer. Zane Sport, stronger for longer.